Right guys, do you wanna do you wanna come over? You all got balls. Is there an interview? Huh? Is there an interview? There's not, no, we're gonna go straight okay. in. Okay. So this one. Still, still gonna ask you questions. Alright. So um first game of the season tomorrow. Okay, so what we're gonna try and do is get you set up for that. I don't want you overdoing it though, I don't want you doing too much bowling. Okay, but what we want to focus on is getting you ready for tomorrow. Alright? So what do you think is the most important thing for you guys as our opening bowlers, most like opening bowlers when it comes to getting ready? When you're actually out there, what do you think? Line and length. Line and length, exactly right. Okay, so tonight we're going to focus on uh, length mostly, and then we'll bring in a bit of line as well. Right? What do you think is the optimum line? Oh, sorry, length. Good length, just uh, yeah, good length. A good length. So what's a good length? What's a good length? Not, not too short for the drive, but not too short for the drive. Yeah, so it's just okay. in between where you can't decide where to go play back and forth. So between the two, yeah. exactly right. Okay, so. We obviously know what it is. I want you guys now to put cones out where you think a good length is, or the sort of length that we're looking for. Okay, so if I give you that one, okay. you can have a green one. And you, mate, can have a blue one. Alright? Place it, place it where you think the length is. That's all I'm worried about. Don't worry too much about line. So you've all gone pretty much the same. Alfie, have you gone there just because Rosh had it? Oh, yeah. I think that, I think, if it's like, uh, when I was bouncing, I was thinking like, if I bounce there, I'm going to get a bit of height into it. So I don't know where yeah. to play. Three, 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 three. Speak up. Three and a bit steps. Three and a bit steps. I agree for sure. Actually, that's not bad. That's not bad, to be honest. So if you look on Sky Sports, you obviously you guys watch the test match on Sky Sports. Do you know what the meterage is? When they show it, the good oh, lengths like where they should be bowled. Two meters is about four meters. Four meters, six meters. Yeah, so usually it's they roughly between four and seven meters. I'd say for you guys, because you're younger, you're not quite as quick, you're a bit, some of the guys are a bit shorter, you're probably looking a bit further. So this is probably about right. That's for your fuller of the length. So we've got between there, which is probably about two and a half, three metres. So I would say about six and a half, seven. It's probably about here. Okay, so that's your sort of length. Anything short of that, we know we can get on the back foot. Anything full of that, we know we can go on the front foot. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to aim to be bowling in that. We'll set, I'll set up a little four thing here, a little line here, so you, that's what you're aiming at, and all I want you to do, you to do is take it in terms of run up and hit that line, uh, sorry, hit that length, okay, we're good with that? Just while we're thinking about it while we're here, when we when we come to bowling outside, what do you think is different bowling outside than in here? Probably wind conditions and that. Yeah? yeah. The pitch is not going to be as bouncy as this, yeah. it's going to be more realistic and it'll, there'll be things in the pitch will make you more Yeah, yeah. I was thinking more about the bounce. So you've said before um, about uh, we're, wanting to, we're trying to get the batsman not sure whether he's going forward or back. Well, if you've got a track that's particularly bouncy, you can afford to go fuller. But if you've got one that's not so bouncy, you can afford to come back a little bit. So it does change varying on the pitch. Okay, so it's for you to assess that when we're out playing. That's why we're going to look at the, the, the three to seven metres today. Okay. So if you guys want to go and get yourself set up there, I'll put these out and then we'll get cracking. Okay. Say again. Yeah, push again. If you want to take the whole lot up there, that's fine. Yeah, I'll grab you some stumps as well. Okay guys, so when you've bowled, I just want you to follow through, turn around and come back, so leave the ball down there to start with. 
Okay, and then once you've all three bowls, you can go and grab them as a group, and then we'll go again, okay? We'll do five or six, and then we'll see how we go, okay? Who's up first? Alfie? Let me give him the nod, bring around, let's see you. Nice listening. Stay there, mate. Okay, that's one from one. Straight in. Okay, that's just in. Do you want to go and grab him? Quick as you can, guys. Jacob's 100% so far. You're a bit short there, we. A little bit. Doesn't matter. Go again. Get in there. What was different from that one? Pardon? What was different on that one than the one you bought before? Good rush. I'm going to try to pitch it up a bit more. I was thinking like too much about the box. What about your pace? Do you, are you maintaining your pace? Good, Jacob. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Go and grab it. What do you guys notice about pitching the ball closer to the red ones than the blue and the green one? Where's the ball going through, do you think? Yeah. So what sort of height roughly do you think it is when it's slightly fuller towards where the red ones are? Yeah, it's about off stump height, isn't it? It's going through that height. So if we can try and get it up sort of that sort of level, that's where we want to be hitting, isn't it? That's where it's difficult for a batsman to go forward and back. Okay, let's give it another go. Let's see if we can get it somewhere around about there, so it's going through about that height. Don't worry about your line at the moment, I just want to see the length, okay? Selfie. Now, <laughs> oh, Rush, is that your first one in? I think it is. Yeah, good, Jacob.
So have another two of those, same, same plan, okay? So we're trying to get it up, pitched up so it goes just through above off stump, all right? At or around that height. Ooh. I think that might be the pitch giving you a bit of lift then on that one. Good rush, good length. Let's go one more each. How was that? Fine, Easy? How many did you get in? I think it was two. I think it's two. Pretty much all. I think you missed twice. Maybe two. Two. So, what, so in order to get more in there, the ones that you did get in there, what do you think? How, how can we make sure we get more into that area? Just above the stump. Yeah. So I can get the other leg for it. Yeah, and, is, and did that help? So when you were looking yeah, at the stump, that's what helped? Like, quite forward did help. Yeah? Okay, so what, the ones that didn't, where were you looking then? I was just trying to get it. You weren't really. really Alright, so maybe that's your thing. So if you're looking up there, that gives you that length. Okay, what about you, Rosh? Well, it's pretty much the same. Pretty much the same? You're just saying that because that's what Alfie said and it's an easy answer. Right. Okay, cool. Any, anything from you, Jacob? Okay, so you're aiming to pitch up in front of that, are you? Okay, cool. So your lengths were pretty good up here. So now, just one thing about the, the pitch. We talked beforehand about the lift of, a, of, of, a, uh, of any given pitch. This one, what do you notice about this one, particularly? It's bouncy, isn't it? So yours, when you were pitching here, they were coming up sort of nose high, weren't they? They were really short. So what does that mean in terms of our length? What do we then have to do? Yeah, we're trying to, we're adjusting, so we're going further up this way, aren't we? Okay, and further up there, it's probably getting a bit lower. So you, we can probably narrow this now, now that we've seen it, to a slightly more uh, appropriate length. So do you guys want to do that now, to narrow it to where you think the right spot is? Yeah, so where you think, having what you've just seen, where you think a nice area would be for you guys to hit. Okay, the red ones, the red cones, I'd say, are probably okay. So you just want to move those ones. This is for you guys to, to work out, okay? You happy with that? Well, you're not giving yourself much chance there, okay. Alright, so let's try. So we reckon we can hit that now. Okay? So let's have a look at that. I would say, so for your first few, Alpha, you particularly, I think probably trying to too hard to get the ball down. It is a, it, it, you, you'd only just started bowling, so you want to get loosened up first and then crank it up a little bit. So for those first few, now you've got through the rhythm, absolutely fine to carry on at your normal level. Okay? So we'll do three or four trying to get into that, and then we'll have a little competition, right? So he wasn't far away, was it? Yes, Rush. Yeah, we're in. One. So 
how's that been the same size as yours before? You can snap in the middle of it. Yeah. Before you were short of it. We've well, narrowed it up a little bit. That last one, where do you think you uh, where do you think you were looking? Pardon? Where were you looking on that last one? Stump. Stump, same as before. Yeah. <coughs> then my action just went kind of let it down. So what about your action? I don't think I've released it. No, I don't think. Is there anything else? The way that it, as part of your action that you think could have influenced that? My head on. Yeah, I think your head came in like that. Yeah. You're ducked down. Then you end up dragging yourself down, all right? So when you keep your head up and you keep looking at the point that you're looking at, you get it absolutely right. We've shortened that, we've made that smaller, and all three of you, nice, land it in there. So you've got a focus there, you've got a smaller focus, and we're all landing in there, okay? So what we're going to do is put another visual in, which is this thing. Let's see if we're going to hit that, all right? Now, I said we're going to do a comp. This is to build a bit of pressure, okay? So very obviously, when we're playing tomorrow, when we're playing over the next few weeks, over the, over the summer, we're going to be put under pressure by a batsman, all right? So just put you under a little bit of pressure so you can feel that and you can you can get used to bowling in the right place, okay? So, we're playing against each other, all right? Winner does five press-ups. Second does 10. Loser does 15. Okay? You all right for that? You all right for that? Okay, so, to get points, you've got to land in that square. Okay, you get one point. If you land it on that, you get two. Okay? You happy with that? All right. In fact, what you'll do is you can nominate whoever you... The amount of points you get, Roshan does in press-ups. The amount of points you get, Jacob does in press-ups. The amount of points you get, Alfie does in press-ups. How about that? That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? All right? We're good for that. If you all hit that, if you all hit that map, I'll do 10. Okay? Yeah. If every one of you hit it, I'll do 10. Okay, I'll be the point person, alright, so I'll keep score the points. You've got five each. Okay, so we'll do it the same again, so we'll each go one at a time, grab the balls, and we'll point to tally at the end. Okay? One for in the square, two for hitting the mat. Yeah. Oh. Zero. God, pressure's got to him straight away. Go on, Rush. Oh. The pressure's too much. I reckon Jacob's got this. Yes! That's one point. So one point to Jacob, which means Alfie's on a press up. The pressure, got to that, was that, were you worried about that? I said, do you want to borrow a Yorker? <laughs> Brilliant, okay.
Right, so that's round one. Jacob's in the lead with one point. Yeah, I'll give you a point for that. Good. Oh, just short. Hard luck rush. Zilch. Don't let me down, Jacob. Oh, was that full? No, I think it was full. Zero. So one from Jacob, one from Russian, which means two of you are doing a press up. Right, so round two, three to go. There's not many press ups going on here, guys. Come on, Alfie, give him two to go work with. Slightly short. Yes, yeah, a point. That was very nearly two. Very nearly two. Oh, just short. Was it just short, Jacob? Jacob, was that just short, yeah? Yeah? Just make sure. You got him, yeah? So far, Roshan's not doing any press ups. Has he got one? One yeah. press up. You are. Round four. That's a mat. That's two points. <laughs> oh, Jacob. Oh. Hard luck. Too full. So, Alfie, you've got one in. You've got one point, which means Roshan's on one press-up. Roshan, you've got three, yeah? Which means Jacob's got three press-ups. You've got two. He's got two. Okay? So, three, two, one. If you two both get a mat, I've got to do ten. Alright? You need to get yourself two to give me some more. Alright. It is too low, isn't it? We'll change it next time. Right. So, this is the last one. Double points on the last round. Okay? So, did you hear that, Roshan? Double points last round. So, two for in the square, four for mat. Okay? Let's go for it. Alfie goes first because he's only got one. Oh, he's hit it! <laughs> he's hit it! Well, that hit it, the match shifted. Definitely. Right, so, five points. Who's on two? Jacob, you're on two? So you can go next. Ross, you can wait till last. Well done, Alfie. Stuck on two. Right, Rush, you need one in the square to draw. Yes, there he is, two. Well done. Grab your balls, guys, quick. Quick as you can. So, what do you reckon? Well, we're going to do press up for a minute. You guys owe me all press ups. So what do we think? How do we feel how do we feel that went? Fine. Yeah? After the set, this this one was fine for me. So when we narrowed that, do you find that it was easier then? It was Wouldn't it a target? Yeah. So how can we take that into a game situation, say tomorrow, when we're working tomorrow? Ten minutes like a square. Visualise? Yeah. yeah. Visualise a little bit of a mat or a full square? What do you think, Rush? Yeah. So we 
judging the track first, track the, judging the pitch first, and then trying to locate where we want to go, and then we can narrow it in and get that visualisation. Yes, yeah, so there's two strings, so we can do that to start with, and then and narrow it. Yeah, I think so. So that visualisation is really important. Do you do that now? Have you done that historically? No, no. Yeah, so let's try and bring that into our game, so we know it works, because you guys... There was a vast improvement when we sort of narrowed that down and put that on there. Okay, so we know it works. So tomorrow, when we're trying to suss out the pitch, let's work out where our length wants to be, and then we'll start to narrow it down and visualise a piece of carpet or something there. That's what you're trying to hit. Okay, five press-ups. How many was it? Two, three. Three. You've got, you've got five. You've got three, I think. Oh, go on, do five. Well done, guys. Thanks, Jacob. Well done, mate. Okay. Go and join Kelly Randy. Hey, yeah, please. I've already done that. Well done, mate. Thanks for that, guys. Well done, pal. Thanks, mate.